welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 80s one hit wonders you forgot were awesome. For this list, we're ranking the more obscure, deep cut one hit wonders from the 1980s. Admittedly, some of these artists may have achieved some chart success with other songs, but these hits in question have gone on, for better or worse, to define their musical careers. Can you think of any we missed? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Don Johnson, Heartbeat It isn't uncommon at all for actors to try their hands at creating music. While Don Johnson was co-leading the show Miami Vice, he released his debut single Heartbeat. The song's expensive music video features slick visuals that mimic the style and substance excess of Johnson's hit show. And it helps that the chorus of Heartbeat is instantly memorable and sounds epic. Although the production is super processed and ultra 80s, that isn't a bad thing for the song. Johnson's performative emoting and the video's dramatic narrative showed he was dedicated to making music. Unfortunately, Johnson's follow-up song, Heartache Away, didn't achieve the same level of success. Number 9. Taco, Putting on the Ritz Although one-hit wonders don't have to be cheeky or weird, they can really stand out when they are. Different types who wear a day coat, pants with stripes and coat, a coat, perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. This was definitely the case with Taco's cover of the Irving Berlin song, Putting on the Ritz. It became his only top five hit in the U.S. back in 1982, shot to the top of charts in Germany, and even reached the number one slot in Finland. Have you seen the well-to-do? Up and down Park Avenue. Putting on the Ritz is quirky and absolutely soaked in processed 80s synthesizers. While Taco puts in a performance that may not be traditionally good, it is definitely memorable. But it's still a one off song that feels as distinctly 80s as hairspray and shoulder pads. Putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. Number 8. Stacey Q. Two of Hearts. Stacey Q is a California-born singer who's been able to find success in the worlds of movies and music. Her synth-pop band SSQ earned cult status with the material penned for classic horror film The Return of the Living Dead. But the biggest hit of Stacey's solo career had to be 1986's Two of Hearts. The song is infectious right from the jump. It boasts an energetic backbeat, electric synth, and Stacey's warm and appealing vocals. The singer proved that she could come across as both sinister and sweet. None of her other tracks quite captured the magic of Two of Hearts. However, it will always serve as the perfect B-side for Stacey Q's darker work in the horror realm. Number 7. Shannon, Let the Music Play R&B singer Shannon may have earned a couple of number one hits on the U.S. dance charts over the course of her career, but Let the Music Play remains her biggest achievement on the Billboard Hot 100. We started dancing and love it's easy to see why. This smooth jam benefits greatly from Shannon's personable and melodic vocals. She manages to create a great chorus with the song, while the instrumentation also does exactly what it's supposed to do. Get bodies on the floor. He's dancing his way back to me. Let the Music Play is a great throwback to an R&B era that's old school but never dated. In fact, consider this one timeless. Number 6. Tommy Two-Tone, 8675309, Jenny. Throughout the 1970s and 80s, the power pop subgenre was absolutely everywhere thanks to trailblazers like Cheap Trick and Blondie. Johnny, I've got no I need to make you mine. 
the group, known as Tommy Two-Tone, took full advantage of the trend to achieve modest chart success with Angel Say No. However, the song with which the band will always be associated is 8675309, Jenny. The track absolutely rocks thanks to a killer opening guitar melody, awesome guitar solo, and instantly memorable lyrics. It's basically songwriting 101 for anyone searching to write a hit pop tune. The only people that were unhappy with this Tommy Two-Tone classic are people who actually had this phone number. Number 5. Quarter Flash – Harden My Heart Some songs just have a timeless quality to them due to a mixture of nostalgia and vitality that keeps them in the public consciousness. Harden My Heart is definitely one of those tracks. This awesomely moody and memorable hit song comes from the Oregon-based group Quarter Flash. Rindy Ross is front and center of the song's success. Her plaintive, melancholic vocals and excellent saxophone playing work perfectly with the emotive guitar and insistent bass-driven groove. Near the song's finale, the tune becomes so urgent and powerful that we just cannot get enough. Harden My Heart was unquestionably this band's biggest smash. It's a shame more people don't remember Quarter Flash's impressive effort. Number 4. Baltimore – Tarzan Boy If you're looking for a truly unique musical rabbit hole to explore, may we suggest the wild world of Italo disco? synth-obsessed subgenre provided countless single hits and strange music videos for fans to uncover. One of the most popular one-hit wonder tracks came courtesy of Baltimore with their hit Tarzan Boy. The music video is a fever dream of hazy visuals and excessive makeup. But don't let those elements distract you from the fun vocals and strong composition of the song. Oh, and did we mention there's a version of Tarzan's yell within the track? There's an oomph to the arrangements that mixes just the right amount of repetition with melodies that burrow their way into your brain and just live there rent-free forever. Night tonight. Number 3. Alana Miles, Black Velvet Since this song was released in 1989, it may sound a little bit less, well, capital E, 80s. But that's not a bad thing. Black Velvet from Alana Miles is the sort of slinky and sensual blues number that wouldn't sound out of place on a movie soundtrack. While Miles enjoyed success in her home country of Canada, Black Velvet serves as her singular calling card elsewhere in the world. This isn't taking away anything from Miles as a performer or Black Velvet as a song. It stands out from the late period hair metal and pop that was dominating the charts back in 89. Number 2. Martika – Toy Soldiers 1989 was a good year for pop music. Part of the reason why comes down to Martika's Toy Soldiers. It was in, my to you. in 1989, she released this fragile and melancholic melody to the masses. Despite its darker tone, it was a number one hit in America that year. There's a strength and sadness to the tune. The guitar melodies are impeccably produced, the drums are soaked in reverb, and Martika's vocals tug at the heartstrings in the best possible way. We are 
not ashamed to say that Toy Soldier still makes us shed a tear to this day. Then again, that's the power of music, right? Even if you call Martika a one-hit wonder, you cannot deny that she created a classic with this tune. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cutting Crew – I Just Died In Your Arms Tonight Admittedly, Cutting Crew hit the top 10 with both I Just Died In Your Arms Tonight and their follow-up, I've Been In Love Before. However, the former song has endured far more than the latter as the band's most famous song, and with good reason, too. I Just Died In Your Arms Tonight is a dramatic new wave hit that feels larger than life. The guitars are punchy, the synthesizers are perfect, and the lyrics are iconic. Frontman Nick Van Eed radiates both power and sensitivity as the brooding crooner at the lead of the track. We can't stop replaying this song on repeat and singing it at karaoke every chance we get. Our love for Cutting Crew's biggest hit will never die. I just died in your arms tonight. It must have been something you said. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.